Most fences don't require regular maintenance, but over time, strong winds, rot, and everyday wear and tear can cause damage. If you notice your fence gate is sagging or the fence itself is leaning, inspect the damage. And if it's limited to one section, you just might be able to fix it instead of replacing the entire fence. There are several types of materials used for fences, but wood is the most common. It's available as privacy fencing, which is tall and completely blocks the view, or picket fencing, which has gaps in each panel. Vinyl fencing is also available in many different styles. Chain link fencing uses metal posts covered by wire mesh. The most common repair on a wooden fence is replacing a rotten post. Look at this. You got a little sway in your wow, fence. Wow, that is a lot of play. So something is going on down beneath. Right, I bet, 10 to 1. You ready? Let's go. Over time, moisture and insects can damage the post at ground level, causing the whole fence to wobble. That's not good. We got to replace that post. Start the repair by purchasing a new post that matches the old post. The holes line up with the exact rails we have, so they're perfect. To remove the rotten posts without pulling the whole fence apart, draw lines above and below each rail, and use a circular saw to cut the post a few inches deep. Then, bang out the pieces of the post with a hammer. Remove any screws or nails holding the rails to the post. Slide two by fours under each fence panel to give it something to rest on when it's taken apart. Okay, have you all ready? Yep. We're gonna do it, just take a slide the whole section out, bring it out. Oh! How bad was that, huh? Remove the entire post. Coming. There you go. You got it? Good job. And with a post hole digger, clean out the hole. Attach a mason's line to the top of the adjacent posts and pull it tight. Use the line to set the new post at the proper height, tamping down the hole if necessary. Down a little bit, but it's kind of loose in there. Ooh, that is, you know, a little more. One more. <laughs> All right, perfect. Insert the rails from one panel into the holes in the post. Then, lean the post to one side and insert the rails from the other panel. Can you just tap that over to me a little bit? There, there you, go. you go. Straighten the post and make sure it's plumb. Perfect, hold it. Let's grab the buckets of gravel and put them around the post. If you have heavy clay soil, you can set the post in gravel, which drains well so it won't trap moisture against the post. All right, Kev, you just pack it in with this two by three. All right, Kev, that should be good. Now we're gonna use some graded base and we're gonna pack that around the post and that's really gonna hold it in place. Pour it right in. Kevin, this mixture of three-quarter stone and stone dust is gonna drain, but it's really gonna hold the post in place. Beautiful. If you have loose sandy soil or if the post is supporting a fence gate, you may need to set the post in concrete. You may need to brace the post for up to 48 hours while the concrete sets. Then, just screw the rails into the new posts, and if you want to grow grass, you can fill the top six inches of the hole with loam. Let's see, how do you oh. feel? We are more than all set, that's not going anywhere. Replacing a few posts or fence panels is a lot cheaper than installing a whole new fence. And if you use rot-resistant wood like cedar or pressure-treated wood and provide proper drainage around the base of the post, it will remain solid and secure for many years. Thank mm -hmm. you.